So let's go back about a month ago. Uh, the congressional hearing, Representative Mace is there, and she's she's grilling David Grush, who's a whistleblower. Mm -hmm. And this is all military. And, and Grush, and there's an exchange here, and Mace says, you know, well, did they find any re human or re find any remains? Did they find the pilots of these crashed UAPs? And Grush leans into the microphone, looks right up at her and says, yes, uh, they recovered biologics. And, of course, Mace follows up and asks the $64,000 question, were these biologics human or non-human? And he, Grush leans in, looks up at Mace and says, non-human. So when you hear that, you know, what are your thoughts? Because that's that. this is the halls of Congress. It's not George Norrie on Coast to Coast. You know, uh, what do I think about that? Well, I feel bad in many ways for the, the average Christian because— even amongst us as prophecy teachers, there are different perspectives on having a biologic. Mm -hmm. uh, it, and basically a, a, a real physical, tangible mm -hmm. flesh of some kind being that's there. How do we interact with that? What do we do with that? There are some within our camp that say all of it is, uh, there's nothing physical, it's just all demonic. Demonic delusion. Yeah, it's, 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 there's nothing tangible, physical. Well, right. I, I don't, that's not my take on it. Nor it doesn't. It doesn't bother me that there would be a, a physical being sure. there because we, we understand that, uh, again, when we think about the angelic world, the, I think the, the angels are not just spiritual. I think they actually uh, have a physical component well, for a lot of reasons. Let me, let me just stop mm -hmm. you right there. When, when Abraham meets the three entities, one who I believe is the pre-incarnate mm -hmm. Christ, who that's the tap out, you know, yep. you, through your seed, all the nations of earth will be blessed. But the two guys, they all sitting there sharing a meal. They're eating. You know, and then when they, when they get to Sodom, uh, the men of the you know city want to have sex with them, yep. so these are physical bodies. It's like where, where they you think about it. Maybe some of the horror movies. I mean, not horror movies, but the movies we've seen where you have a ghost that's eating and the food's going down and it's yeah, going no, yeah, nowhere. Yeah. They're they're eating. They're, they're physical eating, beings. Physical, right. And so that's that's the important thing is that we have we shouldn't be scared in one sense of recognize that there's a physical component here. Mm -hmm. The whole UFO phenomenon, I think. If we if we recognize that there is that physical tangible component, and from and we can we can honor the Bible, again not that these are good guys by any means that they are they are wicked they're evil in what we see them doing. But what when Grush brought that up, that's going to be challenging I think for many Christians because through tradition we've been trained to think that there is nothing else out there. But and I'm not saying there's 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 uh, life, life, on other and, life on other planets, right. but we do have the the fallen angels, sons of God, creating things and participating in um, tangible ways. Again, a whole big thing. This, what we're watching now is is a is the setup mm -hmm. for what we talk about is the coming delusion, coming great deception. Mm -hmm. And I, I concur with you. I think that we're in a window of time which is absolutely unprecedented. The fact that Congress is actually talking about yeah. UAPs, UFO, and the whole phenomena. And they're sort of teasing things. I know that, that Representative uh, Burchette came out after a closed-door meeting and basically said, we can't even get the first base. We don't, yeah. we don't even know who to ask. So this is a managed agenda, as mm -hmm. late Chuck Missler would say. It's, being, it's a controlled narrative. There's no doubt about that. And they leach things out very, very slowly to the people. What amazes me you know, I've written numerous, as you know, and I'm sort of patting myself on the back, but we just finished, you know, seven and eight, our films on Roswell, and you and I have, mm -hmm. have seen that. You know where I'm going with this. But we were out of a debris field. So there's Roswell Part 1, Exoneration, mm -hmm. where we talk about, and we exonerate the Marcel name. That's the whole point of this, that he was a patsy, he was a fall guy. Same kind of stuff's going on 77 years later, whatever. Mm -hmm. But we went to the debris field, and we found two pieces of metal, and we've tested the metal. And that metal has an alloy, an aluminum alloy, that's not found on this earth. In fact, the closest thing that comes to it is in the 6000 series, and it's not a, it's not a match. And that didn't happen until 1952, 1953. So Roswell's in 47. Mm -hmm. What are those shards doing buried four inches below or six inches below the surface? So we're looking at something. In your opinion, the cat's already out of the bag. There's no doubt about it. I mean, the government has stated mm -hmm. that the go United States government has in its possession crashed UFOs or even, you know, intact 
operational UFOs. What are your thoughts? Where is it going? Yeah, uh, the that's really the thing because you have you have the military contractors, which we discussed, that have access to several uh, parts of this. She also asked the question in in the in, uh, representative base of whether the government has been in contact and right. make basically making agreements. Right. And he's like, well, I'd have to talk to that in a yeah, skit, yeah, you know, right. private room. Yeah. So Oops. Is, has there been some sort of agreement? What we know is this. There's a wicked deception coming. Yeah. And I would not be surprised if there were those that appeared, again, fallen angels appearing as, as, as certain beings in order to make an agreement. You have the deep state's agenda. You have Satan's agenda. You have government's agenda. They all, they're all out for themselves. But we know at the end there's going to be this, this again, great deception. What I find fascinating, and, and your phrase, uh, I was talking with Billy Crone here last week because he's got a new book out on UFOs and aliens as well. But when we go up, they show up. Right. Now, this to me is fascinating because one of the things that we see is, okay, let me just g- give me a minute here on this because I, I, I would agree with that statement because – what, what does the Bible say? We've been traditionally trained that, uh, or thought that when the rapture happens, we disappear, our clothes are left on the ground, and all of a sudden there's this disappearance. Well, right. I, I think that's that's a false. It's a false idea. I mean, I, I just don't believe that's the case because, mm-hmm. for example, if 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 I was at home and I disappeared, family members would be like. Where, where did they go? They would be looking in the closet. They'd be looking out in the cornfield. They'd be looking for us. I think that what happens, and I think there's scripture to show this. If you go back to 2 Kings chapter 2, Elijah, what does Elijah do? He, he goes up and he's observed. Elisha watches him get taken up. We, we come to Jesus. When he gets ascended, right. they watch, they him, watch go him go up. Right. In Revelation 11, the two witnesses... It says, in the presence of their enemies, right. they watch them go up. And so imagine now this. The church, we, all of a sudden we start going up. Where are we going? We're going into the clouds, right? To meet so the Lord in the air. We, yeah. To meet the Lord in the air. So imagine it, the whole world is watching this group of people go up into the clouds, and then, of course, we disappear into the clouds, and then out of the clouds comes a ship. My My family, my friends, they're not going to say, where did Mondo go? He just disappeared. They're going to go, we know where Mondo went. He went into the clouds and then the ship came. Right. So if we look at the biblical model, which is a witnessed mm-hmm. rapture, mm-hmm. like a Revelation 11, not the disappearance, that idea, there's going to be no ambiguity, which when they come down, they're going to have a message. Folks, it's, uh, I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, we could go on for hours on this subject, but it is the coming great deception. I do believe that we go up, they show up. That's what I'm going with. Um, that's that's my belief, and I'm I'm stuck with it, and I'm not moving from it. Thanks for watching, folks.